Hello there. I've recently acquired this double barrel um, over and under pocket pistol. Um, it's by the lock is signed um, J and G Gibbs Bristol, and obviously it's uh, seen better days. Uh, first thing you notice is, of course, the hammer's broken. Um, there's a screw in there which looks unoriginal, to say the least. You can see the the fold-down trigger is a bit slack. It does hold, but there's plenty of play there. And there's no kind of half cock, it's just full on nothing. Um, so, there's two ways you could really, three ways you could tackle this. You could find another pistol that's got some other damage on it and is unsavable and save the hammer off it, but finding another one of these is going to be unlikely that's in that kind of condition where the hammer would be donated. We could make a hammer from scratch, <laughs> don't like the sound of that, or we can try and repair this hammer. Um, but first, I think uh, it needs stripping down so we can see exactly what's what with it. Okay, at least that's good, does look original. But This So I've just had to take this off camera to put this up to something strong that I could really press on and this is now starting to move. Um, I don't really want to have to be replacing screws any more than I can help it. And if the problem is that slotting it is 
for. I should just tease it round. doesn't actually look like it's got a half cock it's just got one hmm. this spring doesn't look original um, that's for a swivel style attachment that's probably a replacement and what horrors are in here panel does come off but of course the screw for it is destroyed I could really do with getting that out ah. that may be more of what we're looking for That panel needs to definitely come off because the, the spring which keeps the concealed trigger tight is in there. So Now I am going to have to get this screw out of there, no two ways about it. Um, it it's in there solid and the head is just ruined, there's no kind of slot left so it, it's going to have to come out. So what I'm going to do is initially use a Dremel to try and hollow out somewhere where I can get a, a drill bit in and get it out.
advise you never to leave uh, electric tools plugged in on the bench, or else you might have a really nasty accident. <laughs> Okay, so after drilling initially out with a drill bit and then going in with a, a Dremel, I've um, managed to free it off. And there you can see the remainder of the screw. So I've actually come through pretty much spot on there. That is spot on. I need to clean the rest of that out, but yeah. That is really good. Now <clears throat> we can see the trigger spring is not really contacting on the trigger that needs replacing. Some sort of weird thing going on down here. Yeah. Trigger return spring. Yeah, I can buy that that's original. Um, right, it looks like somebody's been messing there. Let's just get that out. Original. The hole there would have been initially for that, so that screw, it wouldn't have had a block, I, it would have just, just gone like that. Okay, so that's going to need attention. Now we have this <clears throat> which is the detent for the barrels it holds them and I think what keeps the barrels in is this paint, is this screw here, which somebody's had a go at. I don't think it's showing any signs of wanting to come out. That may have to be drilled out as well. But let's try and get that one out. So these are free now. So I'm going to try and get the uh, turn off barrels off now. Should be a nip, uh, barrel key that goes in there. Obviously it's long gone. So I've got um, a screwdriver with a large blade on it and a nut on the end. So hopefully it does just about fit in there. And if I'm... <coughs> I don't think these will be... Oh, yeah. One's turning. I've already put oil on these. This can be half the battle with these things, is getting the barrels off. easily.
No. Not interested. I might try my new way on this one. So to get this barrel off, I've uh, I've already got a video um, on how to remove a, a frozen barrel, but I've since uh, devised a different method, which seems to work a lot better, um, and that is to use these, which this is this was an engineer's uh, marking tool for marking metal. Um, bits of it were missing, so. Um, it was useless anyway. So, but it's got. It had these two half circles milled in it, and I've cut them, cut that side off. And what I'm going to do is put them, screw them in a vise, and then these will hold the barrel, and I can turn the breech. Now what we need is a large spanner and a couple of bits of wood to protect the breech area and then Go. And that's off, and there is absolutely no marking to the barrel at all. Now I have been letting this sit in uh, Brunox gun oil, so maybe some of that has seeped in and helped it, but you can see just um, just around there it was particularly rusty, which is probably why I couldn't get this one off. That one, not so much, but yeah, a lot of rust around there, which I suspect is why it wouldn't come off. There, that's good. So, I obviously need a new screw to hold this side plate on. Um, a two mil, a two and a half mil screw is just too slack for that. Obviously that will have had an imperial thread or a, a non-standard thread in it anyway. Um, but So next up is a 3. So what I'm going to do is run the 3mm um, tap through it and that should fix that.
this hole. It's just going to need a bit of widening. Give it a bit of a dry run now. So I need to make that head smaller and make a recess. to go and then all I'd need to do is just file that little bit off there I might make the screwdriver cut slot a bit deeper with a hacksaw but that should be all right um, yeah I'm gonna have to try and get that out I just do not like my chances Okay. I'm going to give it just a bit of heat. against the vice and push as hard as I can. No, it's just coming out of that screw, that, that uh, slot. Okay, so that, that screw is just not going to come out. Um, I'm not sure why this trigger's still in. No, there we go. Right, let me see about cleaning some of this up and I'll maybe just have to drill that out. I, I don't think it's going to come out. So I've got my new screw there and uh, it's time to trim it down. relatively coarse loading file just to get somewhere near now it's going to need the screw fire uh, screw hack uh, screw slot um, deepening a bit so I'll have to do that now So we're getting pretty close now. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to switch to um, a lighter file, um, very fine file, 
and with this one you can flex it so you can you can flex it so that you minimize the danger of it touching the body or the body of the pistol just need to make sure that I'm deep enough in there so I can get the screw out I think that's as far as I want to go there. So I am going to um, take the screw out and uh, polish the head on a little bit of sandpaper, fine sandpaper. So now I have to just repeat the process on this side. Got the hammer in the vise and the way that I'm going to repair this is to use a threaded rod um, and I'm going to drill into the, the original hammer and thread in this rod sort of to there and then I'm going to get a piece of steel and drill another threaded hole in it and then once that one's in there then screw on a piece onto there now it doesn't really m then I'll weld them together but this rod going through will provide the main sort of connection and strength um, and the weld obviously will strengthen it but we'll be able to um, file it flush and shape it into a repair so that's the plan so I've mopped this up a bit I've got a piece of steel here which is just thicker than the hammer itself so that'll be fine won't need to do much trimming there and I've roughly sort of mocked up what I'm going to need to cut off this piece so if I cut that shape off that should leave plenty that I can then shape it so I've got the hammer screwed in and it obviously has to hit the nipple there um, so yeah if I do that that should be fine I think I'll leave plenty on these lines though so cut that out with an angle grinder Right, I've drilled the hole, I forgot to press record, but anyway, the hole's drilled and I'm just going to tap it now. switch to a hand tap now to finish it so I've finished tapping the hole now just check it fits Okay, that's good. 
good. Okay, so I've got um, my threaded rod threaded into the new part of the hammer, and so now I just need to see how they fit. I think I've left too much on the end here, but see how it goes. bottom out so quite a bit needs to come off so now that feels pretty good I'm not sure if I want to turn it one more time because it's quite tight now so goes through there yeah that should be that should be good okay so obviously what I'm going to do is um, the reason that it doesn't have to be such a great fit round here um, is I'm just going to V out this area anyway and fill it with weld so any you won't see that so um, yeah that's good Put the uh, gun back together uh, a bit now, um, I'll lock together um, the screw that I made to hold the barrels on is doing its job, it needs obviously filing down and fitting properly but they're fine. Now I've made a small hole there which is hopefully going to line up with that nipple. Um, I think the next thing though to do is um, file some off here to get this rounded part and then I can start to think about welding this part onto the rest of the hammer. So I've got everything here ready for boiling, um, all the smaller bits are in there. Um, this part um, I did it was broken there and there and I've welded it up. I didn't get that on camera because it was just so fiddly. Um, it was very difficult to weld. Um, what I did was I clamped it to this piece of cast iron and welded it using the weld, welding onto there and then gently bringing it up to where I needed to weld it. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's um, well, it's back in one piece and um, it's not too bad at all so that's fine so we can just boil it for an hour now and take it from there so I'm going to turn my attention now to the uh, the, the butt um, I've soaked it in acetone um, for a few hours and then um, used some steel wool um, and uh, methylated spirits to to get the grime off and now I'm just gonna try and get any dirt in the surface there out of the checkering okay so uh, what I think we'll do is use some wood dye got this Rustin's wood dye uh, dark oak. Um, this is walnut, but it's the colour really we want. Not I'm just going to try. Okay, so that's quite nice, that's a, a nice even colour, so we'll just 
let that dry and see and take it from there. So I'm just giving it a buff now after the wood dye has dried. I think that's pretty good. It's a nice even colour, um, nice sheen on it. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. All the parts have been boiled for an hour now and um, I'm just going to use these um, wire brushes. They are really soft um, so they won't damage the finish and um, just to get the dirt off really. Now, <clears throat> there is a rust patch still on there, in that area there, so um, I'm just going to need to work on that bit more to get it off. So everything's complete now and cleaned. Um, the hammer, after a lot of filing and tweaking, um, I've got it to a reasonable um, condition where I'm fairly happy with it. Um, I did try to find similar images of, of these guns. Um, so I've, I mean I've tried my best to uh, recreate it as, as best I can. I think it looks okay. Um, I am I am quite pleased with it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Just obviously took a long time to to get it right. Really, uh, it's not perfect, but well, you know, maybe one day I'll revisit it. But it's better than it was. So um, I think that's everything. We can start putting it back together. Oh, and I've remade this spring, so that's a new one of those. Uh, this is the spring that was in there, it's not the right spring, but it does work, so I'm going to go with it for now.
Okay, so no say no uh, half cock on this pistol. Just okay. That's not too bad at all. We should have a little bit more central, but maybe. So now what I need to do is uh, tidy that up and just knock a bit off in there. That needs filing flush, so I'll do that and come back. Okay, so got that trimmed off and I've trimmed off just a little bit of the protruding screw there so the the, uh, the book can go on. Um, now I did have to make a new screw to go in there. I just took a cheese head screw and um, filed a chamfer on it and obviously cut it to size. This is a metric um, thread, something like two mil and it does bite in the existing threads. like someone's gonna have to come off the inside of there it's not particularly interested in yeah I think I'm gonna have to take off some wood in there so now I'm gonna get the grip back on That is a replacement screw. Um, the other one, I can't remember what it was like, but it uh, didn't fit that well. Um, so that's back together. So there we have it, all back together now, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, some wood lost there, but that's nothing to worry about. Um, yeah, all cleaned up. It's come up really nicely, and I'm really pleased with it. Uh, so there we go. Thanks for watching.